I am the pilot in the helm of my spaceship. I avoid landing on Earth for now because they want to shoot me down with an advanced EMP and reverse engineer my ship while they analyze my ever-changing DNA strands in their secret lab. They are interested in me, but I am not interested in them. So I fly right past that beautiful green and blue spinning rock. It's a shame that only a handful of people oppress over seven billion of the population. I'd love to intervene, but I would be breaking the Galactic Federation's rules and the time travel police will be on my ass. And trust me, that's not cool. But what is cool is that I can travel the rest of the multiverse freely as I wish, but I don't do things without a purpose. My destinations are not without meaning. I travel with a small crew, and the crew consists of one organic robot that is actually achieving consciousness slowly, and her name is Navina. My second crew member is from planet Centronium, a planet from the eighth universe, a peaceful planet, home of the humanoids with silver skin and white hair. She has a background of crystal engineering and communications. She can be highly focused, but loves to laugh and crack jokes a kind of consistent sense of humor. She's easy to love, but she can get on your nerves sometimes. My third crew member is a humanoid praying mantis, no gender, and is a wonderful healing doctor who connected two med beds inside of the ship a couple of decades ago. It's one of the most needed pieces of equipment we have on this ship. The doctor goes by the name of Krento, Krento is serious most of the time, but compassionate and gentle. Krento is usually the voice of reason on the ship. The fourth member is Valzik. Valzik is a warrior and the fierce one. He's a little over seven foot tall, muscular, and in great fighting shape. He has great fighting intelligence on the battlefield. It's what he was born to do. It's his lineage. He's from the planet many call Z Trifalon. Z Trifalon is a planet located on the other side of the black hole, on the outskirts of the second universe. Not much is known about this planet because he hardly talks about it. Valzik is also compassionate, though he occasionally withdraws his feelings. The fifth member is Telly, and she is a phenomenal revolt viewer. Emotional intelligence is through the roof. She can tell us what we're getting into before we get into it. Most definitely somebody you want on your side. She is the youngest one of our tight-knit spaceship family. She's a teenager, and half the time she deals with depression. But when she's not low, her highs are super duper high. She has a beautiful lavender skin tone. Eyes are orange. And she has absolutely no hair. Very slender, but can lift about a thousand pounds. Strong. And the last and final member of the crew is me. And I go by the name of Zor, Captain Zor. Though I prefer the crew doesn't call me Captain. I'm not really the type that believes in titles. My lineage is from Earth, but I was born on planet Neptune, raised by a breakaway civilization, located near the core of the planet. I'm a hybrid. My father fell in love with a woman native to the planet Neptune. Their telepathy is pretty intense and their skin changes in a wide range of colors depending on their mood. I'm a hybrid, so my skin only changes between two colors. Brown to different shades of gray. 
I do process mental telepathy, but not as strong as my mother's. My hair is salt and pepper, and I can walk through walls, but only when my energy is 70% or higher. I'm a visionary and can restructure water with just my thoughts alone. I'm a highly skilled pilot with a natural niche for navigation, especially in the black waters of space. I'm a vagabond by default, which is why living on a spaceship works for me. I'm a gentle person and passionate. I'm passionate because my visions, my visions are something that's so connected to me. In a big way, my visions are my compass, which is what led me to every one of the crew members I have now. And I'm forever thankful for them. But sometimes my visions take us to places that aren't so good. Like the time we went into a green hole of gamma rays. And no, none of us turned into the Hulk. But we did go to a place that would change us forever. Stay tuned for that experience because we're almost there. The next time we get together, I'll tell you all about it.